Now, what is up, Crocs and Clan members, Fairy Tale fans, and others who have stumbled upon this video? I'm Soros and Crocs, and, and today we start, uh, it's actually the last day of Fairy Tale Week, and also the beginning of Fairy Tale 2014 episode reviews for you guys. So, um, so today was the first episode, and it did take me a while to get it. Uh, I will leave a link where you can watch it. Um, I might, I might add another one in the future, but for now, that's, that's there. Um, you can watch it. Also, you know, Pokemon X and Y will come out after, a little bit after this, this video, so look forward to that and all that stuff. But anyways, let's get started with this review, right? Um, so, first off, the animation looks amazing. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it looks beautiful. The characters look nice. Um, the designs, I, I like them all so far. Um, I couldn't tell, I mean, I, I, I kind of saw some difference between the old, or like, uh, the flashbacks between, for, I, I, I mean, I could kind of tell that it was revamped to look somewhat similar to this one, um, uh, so I mean, I thought that was cool. Um, so basically the episode today, it was, it, I, they kind of went back again because this, to, uh, the day was before the day they had off, meaning that that was the OVA episode. Um, so it's like the the night before, so right after Natsu beats uh, Sabretooth, that's where we're at. We're like there, and then Gaju actually takes Wendy and Natsu with Lucy and and Gray, you know, tagging along to the graveyard, um, where you know the dragon graveyard. I mean that we saw literally the end of the last episode of the last series. Um so I mean that was I mean that that's basically what we have. We we had we got to see the graveyard. We actually got to find out the a little bit about the past. because uh, Wendy I don't know if everybody remembers uh the Wendy fight and she starts talking about how when she was fighting Shedia, um how she said that she had two secret uh slayer techniques but she could only use one because she hadn't mastered the other one. Apparently we get to find out what it is this time. It's not really an attacking magic. It's more of a... It's it's going back to her support type of thing. And the way it works is that um she's able to talk to dragons, kind of. So, like, for, like the way that they did it was that Wendy, you know, after seeing all the dragons dead, she got the idea. And then so she created the magic circle, and then she was able to actually find a, the soul of a dead dragon and bring it out so that they could talk to the dragon and then we got a little history lesson uh the whole thing with uh four you know it was 400 years prior there was a big dragon war um like uh like the, there was a dragons who, like dragons saw humans as food and then there was at one point there was one dragon who said no we should be with humans and then it, there was a war between the dragons that wanted to be with the hum, like alongside the humans, and you had the dragons that didn't want to do that. And then there was war, and then the dragons that wanted to be with the humans decided to give the humans Dragon Slayer magic, and that's where we get the origin of Dragon Slayer magic. Is basically dragons who wanted to be one with the humans decided to help the human or teach the humans magic to kill the ones that didn't want to be with the humans. Um, and and according to the dragon that we saw, he he uh he he was the J dragon according to him. He was one of those that was opposing it. Like he was like, no, humans are are food and and this and that. We're like we're the dominant creature, uh, dominant being in the world. So and then like uh, apparently he said that technically teaching the humans dragon slayer magic backfired because then those that gained too much power from the the magic actually turned on the dragons that taught them dragon slayer magic and then we get to hear about the one that was so evil and just murdered all the dragons and then he was drenched in their blood and he like just so many dragon kills in fact every dragon in the graveyard that was there he started saying that it was because of this man and then this man actually turned into a dragon which was actually agnolia and then we're like oh well, well damn like I don't think it was a human, and then uh, and then the spirit disappears. And apparently, that's not the real story, um, because the guards from from the previous series, um, the ones who are hosting the tournament, 
the the the, the tall guy with the weirdo afro. Like he comes out with Yukino, which is the the celestial spirit mage um, from Sabretooth, and then got kicked out. And all that stuff. They come out and saying that's not the truth. How that's not how the storybooks say it. And that's not how their research is. I mean, apparently it was Seraph who actually turned Agnolia into a dragon, and then the they have to kill Seraph and then yada 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 and then that. um like there's so right now we got two stories which one is true I don't know I'm kind of leaning on towards I mean the dragon the dragon then again he was I mean he was on the losing side he didn't say he was on the winning side meaning that it might be him his version that's true because everybody knows that if you are the victor then you will talk about the victory and then like I, but no he didn't say that he actually admitted that he was on the opposite side which means that he actually saw everything but there's also that idea where oh you're you're upset about losing so you're going to come up with a lie to make the other side feel bad i don't know. i mean we we honestly don't know yet but uh, i'm hoping i'm guessing we're going to find out through this this arc uh next week is the continuation of the games and I'm like super stoked for this series. I really am. Like I, I was like, oh my gosh. Um so yeah. Um we also got to see a premonition. I don't know if it was meant I mean they didn't show it, but I couldn't like I couldn't guess if it was it was actually uh Charlulu's I really don't know how you say it. That's how they say it in there, like some um but Charles, Carla, Carla, whatever you wanna call her where she has the visions, but I don't know, they didn't show that, so I wasn't sure if it was actually her having the vision, or if it's just showing us what's going to happen in the future, because at the beginning of the episode, and actually towards the end, they show the same scene, except in the second time they show it, they actually go beyond it, where it's basically Lucy, who's just, like, on the ground with the giant tower exploding, basically the same premonition that Charlie got in the previous series, but we actually get to see it now, like all moving around and all that stuff, because it's more compact and it's actually flowing correctly. Because Charlotte can only see fragments. Um, so what we see is that, like the, the tower exploding, and then Lucy's like, no, and then a dragon shows up, and he's actually going to attack Lucy, like, breathes, like shoots fire at her, and then Natsu shows up and eats the fire, and she's, and then like saying how he's going to protect her, and then. That's how the first time it shows, and the second time it does all that, and then it shows Natsu retaliating against the dragon, and a bunch of other dragons show up, and Natsu says he is the dragon slayer of fairy tale, Natsu, and all this stuff, and then he's fighting the the dragons, and then Lucy starts screaming how it's impossible, there's no way to win, and all this stuff, and then Natsu, when he gets thrown down, says the typical Natsu thing, we don't know the meaning of give up, I'm not going to stop until I destroy all these guys. So, like, I don't know if that's supposed to be, like, us just seeing what's going to happen in the future, or if this is just speculation. I mean, Shadow hasn't been wrong yet, so, I mean, it could technically be that, just for some foreshadowing for us. Um, so, I don't know, I'm really looking forward to the series, though. I, I really am. I hope you guys are, too. I hope to see you guys next week for the newest episode and all that jazz. Uh, don't forget to check out Pokemon X and Y episode 12 review, which will come out a little bit later after now, after this video goes up. So, thank you guys for watching. This has been Sauce and Croxton. Fairy Tale for the win. So glad it's back. Super stoked. Super excited. So, anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next week.